Hello and welcome to Terraform Craft Season 1, Episode 29? Yeah, it should be 29. I am on my way to save some pigs and hopefully butcher them horribly at one point. And or cause pig explosion. Which is, funny enough, actually on the wiki, which is the term of Error. which defines a large pen of pigs, uh, of pregnant female pigs, suddenly giving birth to roughly 20 or 30 smaller pigs, and burdening the entire server for the rest of, I guess, existence. But yeah, surprisingly, pigs are one of the most intelligent of the farm animals. And that's not saying much, unfortunately. It's impressive, because pigs... I guess in real life, pigs are actually quite intelligent. You'd be surprised. They're on... on pretty good, uh terms with intelligence. I'm also not that slow either, so I'm not too worried about running too far ahead, but... What is that? It looks useful, but then again, not at the same time. And it's just a little laggy from me exploring so much, but... Surprisingly, it's not that bad. I would fully expect it to be worse. What's this? More berries. And I'm still trying to gather as much uh, berry material as possible. Food, good, yes. Need tons and tons of food. I see a gooseberry, which is actually blooming. I don't know why I did that. I really don't know why I did that. For some reason, I did a very stupid thing. Because now it's going to take them forever to actually recognize that I'm still here. I don't know why I ran. So, I'm going to hit you in the face with food and you're still not going to be interested. This is the most, uh, interesting trip I've ever had. I've shepherded a lot of pigs. And there's spiders. Oh, I think there's the poisonous cave spiders as well, somewhere. death somewhere close by ah you pig are you interested again please be interested because I really need lots and lots and lots and lots of bacon and they've suddenly become unintelligent. You can do it. Wow, they've actually made it. That took the sheep infinite amounts of time because I uh, eventually just killed them. just shows that the pigs seem to be more intelligent. And apparently one just fell off the cliff. So. <laughs> Again, it's not saying much. Okay, the five pigs are still here. 
unfortunately there are very bad swimmers, but it is probably better for me to uh, don't tell me. Pigs apparently have very poor eyesight because they lose track of you just a couple meters away. And now he's water dancing. Now, I'm trying to at least get the boar because the boar is the more important one right now. If I can get the boar, then I'm actually in really good condition. The name of this episode is uh, Shall Now and Forever Be Known as Herding Pigs. This is very difficult. <laughs> Imagine how difficult this is actually. <laughs> this is, to an extent, ridiculous. Okay. Good news is, they're not too bad at actually traversing land. It, they're just very difficult to keep them within visual distance. <laughs> well in flat lands, so I'm a lot less nervous walking around like this. They're actually moderately fast like that. Ooh. I found barley. I like barley. Barley is my favorite uh, crop, even though it's not as useful, unfortunately. At least not till... Where is this? Sheep? Bell Pepper Heaven. Okay, I actually have a long way to go. Ooh. I'm probably not going to make it before night. You. Unfortunately, grass does tend to mess up their line of sight as they cannot see you through the grass. So if they stay too uh, long in the grass, they cannot see you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the pigs here. And I'm going to run like a maniac. I'm out of food, actually. Ooh, that's bad. Good news is I have meat. This is rice. I want this. I want all the rice and everything. Why can't I... Oh... Where's my knife? I threw, I threw away my knife, didn't I? I did a very stupid thing. But I don't really care right now. I need the rice. I need all the grain and material and other good stuff here. Because I am really not in a very good position. Um, I need to reassess my existence, because I am in a very bad position. Yeah, I'm in a very bad position. You cannot understand the amount of stupidity I seem to have pulled. I don't think any living creature can comprehend the stupidity I've just pulled. And I am probably dead. Or at least I'm going to be uh, very unhappy for the next bit. I'm terrified. Because they are a lot of them, and they all want to rip out my uh, rip off my face. Okay, I'm going to do this very quickly. I'm just going to go right here. And...
I love water. It really is comforting. Especially since they really cannot pathfind through it very well. Or at all in case, uh, some cases. That's why they pathfind around it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Where, where am I? Because I have no clue. Oh, actually, I do know where I am. Okay, I've actually been here. And I know exactly where I'm at. And I'm very in a bad position. This is a lot of gold. Ow, that hurt. I'm going to die. Because I just walked into water with a skeleton waiting for me. And hunting me. And very intent on killing me. Uh, I'm in a very bad position. And I'm no longer in a very bad position. I'm just in a bad position. Scratch that. I'm still probably in a very, very, very bad position. <laughs> Uh, I need to find at least something I can stand on without having to jump. This does consume a lot of water. Oh, is he coming after me already? I have a feeling he probably will be very shortly. Remember kids, do not live at night. Good news is, kill them at, with any precision or anything like this. They used to take so much more damage. I am dead. I am literally dead. Get away from me. I didn't even release on that. It just released on itself. Okay. Oh, hi. You seem very unfriendly. And I have somehow gotten very far from where I was trying to survive. Hmm. Okay. I have one plan, but it is not a very good one. I can't really do it right now. So basically, I'm just waiting till time runs out and they die. What time is it? It is. Still safe enough for me to be alive right now. Really, the good thing is they do not have a very good pathfinding in water. That's one of the more impressive things, is that water seems to be very disorienting for them. As they're currently trying to get close enough to me, but they can't seem to do so because the salt water seems to be a little too much for them. <laughs> now he's probably going to get to me, if only just because he can seem to... he seems to be able to pathfind enough. But just cross this. And now he can get to me. Okay, this is still bad. I am just buying time right now. Uh... Hmm. Good news is I'm full on water. This is really bad, though. Okay, let's see how much time I can buy. And where I can buy my time at. Oh, that is bad. Uh. And there we go. I am now still in a very, 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 very terrible position. 
I cannot win like this. I am all kinds of in bad positions. I have literally a horde of zombies after me. Ah. Okay, I've bought enough time that uh, I will live another day. And I need to go find my pigs because I need to get them. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, pigs this way. basically what you need to do when a lot of very dangerous things are coming after you. Stay away from that spider because he is kind of an annoyance. Now the issue is when they're pushing, uh, pushing each other like that, they can actually achieve stu- uh, I guess destupefying themselves. Ah, oh, the sound of burning zone. I'm actually safe right now, just because they are going to literally die horribly without me having to do anything. The only issue is that one skeleton that has armor. Oh, squash. I want all the squash. At this point, it's probably best if I do this. Good news is, I don't think I'm in too much danger. And if I am, well, then I'm in too much danger to actually imagine. I suddenly have a sinking feeling that I'm going to die horribly very, 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 very shortly. See, he is too close to me. feel endangered. At least for the next uh, minute or so. Let's see. If I can just keep them within that range. I should be fine. Ooh, more copper. Again, I don't feel too safe. don't seem to care. I do want to mark this, however. <sighs> and I'm trying not to steal any surface ore because I don't really have a use for it as much anymore. good condition right now. I should be fine for uh, not very long more, but I don't even know what I said there. I think I, I feel like I said lawnmower for some reason. <laughs> I have no idea why I would say that. I can't convert this back. You know what? Screw you, stone. I don't need you. I really don't need any more stone. This 
this is a very long process, but I need a lot of material. And since it's all just right here, waiting for me, I feel a little entitled to steal as much as I can, and hope I don't get killed by some random act of randomness and horrible demise and all that stuff. All that bad stuff that you usually want to avoid, if at all possible. Uh, actually, I have quite a bit of it. Unfortunately, the one thing that would actually be good for is not currently in this build. It was removed temporarily to make sure that the barrels did not have issues when creating it. Okay, I think I'm good for right now. Copper. I have a lot of stuff. I need to actually head north. And hopefully regather the pigs that I had to abandon because it became night and I don't know why I wasted so much time. It is already uh, day and it's starting to lag a little bit more because I've been running around. Okay, the pigs should just be right up here. Luckily once the chunks unload they don't usually have an issue with uh, moving around too much. So they're all within about the same area they, they were. So I now have pigs that I can horribly slaughter. I mean save. Yes, save. going to quickly try to get as much rice as possible because, again, rice is still a very valuable food. Where's the other rice? I did to your brethren at one point. And there we go. Probably just steal this and move on. I actually need to go around. Because funny enough, I was actually going the right way when I was panic fleeing for the rest of my life. There's actually no way to get back up. I wish platinum was useful. Though it's actually probably useful as a currency in multiplayer. This is still hurting pigs. Jump. Jump, fools. Jump. Please, jump to your doom so I can actually be done with you. <laughs> okay, five pigs still. I still have the boar. Ground's not stable around there. <laughs> that almost gave me a heart attack because.
unstable ground, and I was just standing there, and it kept collapsing. That's what happens when, um, something minor collapses, and then suddenly everything around it collapses. Are you the boar? Because I can't afford any of you to actually rest and try to get away. I think I'm gonna cut this out and just when this is done and I'm back at my base I will probably turn and say hooray I got all the pigs back and I seriously hate them I want a rope which is kind of what the jute is good for but I can't have that and I don't think you can get slimes in here, so... Come on, it's not that hard. Come on, it's not that hard. I just have to go up through here. So, I'll see you in a minute. And I'm back for just a bit. I got all the pigs into the place. I had to switch it to peaceful because, I mean, these pigs wouldn't go up a single block that was just stopping them constantly and I couldn't get them past that point and eventually became night and I just about had enough of having to fight. It, this is probably like the third day since I tried to rescue the pigs again. I'm tired. <laughs> I am really tired. <laughs> I am going to bed after this. I have not been so joyful for this one. And I don't feel very energetic, so you will have to excuse me. <laughs> I am not giving too much care for this. <laughs> but yeah, for the next couple of episodes, I am probably going to stay on hard. I don't know if it does anything different, but yeah, I did have to turn it to peaceful just because they wouldn't... I had to literally dig them a path before they would actually understand that they could get up that one block. Uh, I take back everything I said about them being intelligent. I'm tired. <laughs> so, if you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, oh well. Have a nice day. See you next time. And I'm sure glad I didn't have to record that last bit because that was pretty depressing. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty depressing. <laughs> Not too bad, actually. I wonder what this would be. Uh, it looks truly horrifying. Apparently it's not bad, though. looks horrifying. Actually, that one doesn't look too bad. It looks like a baked potato with cheese on it. For some reason, in a bowl. <laughs> but yeah, see you next time.